welcome back to another video you guys we have something special and cute for today's video i hopped in home goods and found the cutest reasonably priced coquette looking bow sheets so i am decorating my daughter's room today basically like i would say it's a transformation plus finishing decorating like Again, if you're new here, trying to decorate your house, like we built this house two years ago and I'm still literally decorating. So I'm finally getting to finishing some touches in her room and I thought because this theme is so beautiful, it's gonna go perfect. So this is kind of how the room looks now. If you guys was following me maybe a year ago, this used to be my glam room area, but I thought it was perfect for my daughter's room. I absolutely like the best part about this room is that it has three windows, like, three big full windows, two in the bedroom area, one in the closet. And I mean, all the closets are walk-in, so it's so much space. And I just wanna clean and organize a little bit in here. Um, and this is like a surprise. So she does not know that I'm like rearranging her room. She's not home at the moment. And um, I just can't wait to see her reaction. So of course I'm gonna have to probably post that on Instagram because she's not back yet. But when she does, you guys, she's literally gonna cry because this, like, if you watch till the end, you'll see how beautiful everything turns out. So basically, I'm gonna start by changing out the curtains. And everything I'm using in today's video is from my old look. I, I guess you could call it my old niche in my glam room. So nothing is new here besides literally the sheets and the comforter set. Um, and then the pillow at the end, but that is literally it. So I'm so excited that I was able to reuse some of my home decor pieces and not have to worry about, you know, storing anything else or just throwing things away or even, you know, donating. I was just like, why don't I just dress up my daughter's room because it's pink and girly. <laughs> And I'm also not pushing the color pink on her, but she loves pink, not as much as I do. She likes other colors, but um, pink is there in the color palette for her. And I think because she sees my glam room looking so, you know, beautiful and pretty that she's going to love what I'm gonna do to her room because she had some friends over the other day and I let them come in my room. Typically we don't do that. Like I'm literally about to put a lock on my room because I don't have time for like little kids coming over trying to go in my glam room. Um, but I let them in there because I know that's going to be a trending topic for these little fourth graders and like her friends loved it. And she was like, my friend said that you're the coolest mom ever and you have the cutest room and she loves all your Stanley cups. <laughs> when I tell y'all like that warmed my heart, but deep down inside I was cracking up. I was like, that's so cute, but I'm happy that she loves that. And so first I'm gonna start with this vanity because while I wash the sheets and her new comforter, I just wanna like organize and get rid of all this end of the school year stuff and just try to, like I said, basically organize. And I'm gonna transform this into a whole cute little mini glam area for her. Like, oh my gosh, I just love this. She's going to fifth grade. So this room look is almost like transitioning to her getting ready to go to middle school in another year or so. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, why is she growing up so fast? Number one and number two, geez, you guys, like time flies. That's all I can say, time flies. Okay, so the details on this glam mirror is from my small business that I had about, I'd say three years ago, um, Bria Vanity Mirrors. That is my mirror in my glam room is also from my small business. Um, so this is leftover inventory that I had before I closed my shop. And if you guys are wondering or asking, because this mirror is super cute and reasonably priced, I do have two left that are still boxed and packaged, brand new, never been used. So if anyone is looking for like a mini little mirror just to give their glam room some pop, or even for like I said, your kids or something, this is like the perfect child friendly first little glam mini mirror. So let me know, DM me or message me in the um, comment section if you are interested in buying one of these. But you guys, she is going to melt. So this mirror also has dimmable features and three light tone setting features. It also displays a clock and the temperature and stuff like that. And you guys like, so her little princess LED light she had up there, 
I don't understand why my husband allowed or maybe he put it up I don't remember he brought it for her it was so cute <laughs> um but basically I'm getting ready to rip the paint and the drywall off you guys will see I tried to heat it up so that I could just peel back the little sticky stuff but when I tell you the sticky stuff was some strong gorilla type sticky stuff yeah it, it wasn't it was not peeling nicely and I just was like getting a little frustrated low-key so I just ripped it because why not I'll just paint right over top of it that's the benefits when you own your home So basically, yeah, here's the damage that was done. You know, no big deal, like I said, who cares, why not? Um, so I'm just gonna take the paint and touch up these freaking, whatever you call it. I mean, and it turned out all right. I'm telling you, when I get done painting, you guys are gonna see, you can't really notice it. Typically, you would probably wanna patch it up and spackle it and all that good stuff. But listen, for today's episode, we are not doing all that. Like, it's not noticeable. And I want to stay here for the rest of my life. I don't want to move again. So no big deal. No big deal. All right, so sheets and comforters are dry, you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see how this looks together. Like I said, I'm envisioning it to be super cute because I mean, if you guys try to find like sheets and a comforter with that coquette look, that floral, that bowy, girly look, if you like go on Love Shack Fancy, it is so expensive. Or if you do the Pottery Barn um, collab that Love Shack did with them, I'm telling you, their stuff is like, hundreds of dollars what I spent maybe what did I say $30 and 20 like $50 for this cute set whereas I would have spent like 150 maybe 175 if I would have went off a of Pottery Barn to get the same look so you know if you're new here we do lots of budgeting okay budget friendly <laughs> Okay, back to the vanity. The bed is looking so beautiful. Um, as you guys can see, you can't see any damage. I told y'all it was going to work. All right, now I'm going to try to put this princess sign back up, but this time I'm going to use little tack pins. Typically, that's what I use to literally hang all my wall art. It's just little tacks. Like, it works. It's sturdy enough. Um, again, some of these things are not as heavy. Like, this little princess sign is very light. If you guys want the link to this, let me know in the comment section. My husband brought it so I can try to check if I can find the Amazon link. But um, yeah, it's so cute. And I think it's perfect for my daughter's room. Uh, like I said, right over top of her vanity is just going to look so good. All right, next up, I'm gonna, like I said, reuse some of my wall art that I really don't have no use for anymore. Again, I'm just going to use tacks to hang these up the best that I can. Of course, I'm gonna try to measure it so it's even because again, I'm a perfectionist like that and I just need it to look good. But I just literally simply eyeball it and then I'll try to use the leveler to see if it needs to be moved up or down. But I have pretty good eyes. Like I have a really good look for it and it, it always matches. I mean, I think I have to tweak it a little bit this time, but for the most part, everything went up perfectly. Also, don't try this at home. I don't recommend standing on top of the vanity, you guys. I should have moved it and used the ladder, but you know, trying to do things quick. Per usual, me goofing and clowning around on the happy dance because it's looking so good. 
(laughs) you gotta have a little bit of fun in life don't ever forget to play like there's never enough playing and when we get older we always forget to play so play as much as you can okay uh on to decorating the vanity so her grandmother brought her this super cute barbie from the barbie movie this was the president and you guys she's so beautiful on her freaking little desktop Um, I'm grabbing some other stuff, Barbie lotions and just stuff she already has. All this stuff, again, like I said, was already in the room. This is one of my old makeup brush holders. I'm giving her some brushes from PR that I didn't really use. Um, She's probably not going to use these brushes. It's really just for looks because we're not really doing makeup just yet because, you know, 10 years old, we're not doing that. Uh, With dance and cheerleading a little bit, but not really. Like, we're not rushing time here because enjoy being a child. Anywho, no judgment for anyone that is allowing their kids to wear makeup at 10 years old or younger. But in this household, we're not doing that. All right. Um, Again, I wanted to use this candle holder since I'm not using it in my glam room because I'm doing lots of gold accents and bringing the blingy and silver over to my daughter's room. Again, another candle that just has pretty pink packaging. And then I haven't used it in a while, so it's perfect here. So I'm only gonna organize, I think, this top drawer because I just wanna get some of her pencils and stuff that I took off the top of the desk to just put inside the door, the drawers and, you know, just make it a little more subtle, tucked away, but organized. I brought these little organized thingies off of Amazon. I'll try to link them for you guys, but they are the perfect little organized. I use them for my coffee. I use them downstairs in my junk drawer just to keep everything neat. My daughter's very crafty, so she loves um, creating little things, these little beaded bracelets and stuff. So it's perfect for that. Um, But again, just a couple drawers to organize. I have a lot more stuff I have to do in her room, but for now, I'm just kind of straightening up mostly the left side. Some of this stuff, you guys, I still have from when I was switching my glam room over. So I'm going through this stuff. I found her super sentimental cards to me. And y'all, when I was cleaning her room, I was just like, this is what matters in life. This is the value. This is morals. This is what I believe. And this is my daughter loving me and me loving her and being the best version of myself for my children. And it just goes to show when they write and when they just look at you. Okay, time to lay this gorgeous comforter. I had to dry it another cycle, so it's now dry and ready. Try to get most of the wrinkles out, but you guys, tell me this is just not the cutest. Uh, And it's really not even like a thick comforter either. It's almost like a duvet. Like, I don't even know if it's a comforter, to be honest with you. And of course, I had to top it off with the super cute bow pillow from Michaels, you guys. It didn't go in my glam room because I don't really have a couch or anywhere to put it. And I didn't like it on my vanity chair. So perfect in this room. I mean, it literally tops it off. So gorgeous. Like, it's everything I thought it would be. Comment below if you guys are loving this bedding set. And so this is the final look, you guys. It is stunning, it's girly, it's not too young, but it's becoming mature. So it's like, you know, just the preteen look. And you guys, she is gonna ride this out until she's a teenager. And then I'm sure we'll switch it from that. But like I said, stay tuned because I'll try to capture her reaction to her room. But I absolutely love how it turned out. And I'm just so happy I got to use all of my old glam room material to decorate her room. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's so clean. It's neat. And uh, I just love it. So here is the look of the glam area with the princess light on. And then I'll turn the vanity light on so you guys can get a full look. I mean, how cute is this? So again, let me know you guys your thoughts of the room and everything in the comment section. If you are interested in this glam vanity mirror, let me know as well. And thanks again for watching. Bye.